I was compelled to be present today to express the impact of the loss of Helena, who was a cherished friend, wife, mother, and artist, senselessly lost on October 21st, 2021. I was first introduced to Helena when a mutual friend sent me samples of her cinematography. I was pleasantly surprised to see how mature and refined it was, especially given the small budgets she was working with. I imagined what she could do if given the time and resources of a large film, and I instantly knew I wanted to work with her. What stood out for me was her passion, her intense preparation, her resourcefulness and creativity on set, and the kindness and generosity she showed to all those she worked with. In getting to know her husband, Matt, it was clear that he and their son, Andros, supported every career move she made and accepted the very difficult reality that she would have to travel for work very often. This rare combination of talent, work ethic, collaboration, and family support was what truly set her apart. In 2021, Helena's star continued to rise. Her name was mentioned around Hollywood as someone to watch, and just two weeks before she began on Rust, Helena got her first meeting on a big studio film. She came in a close second for that job, and instead of focusing on why it didn't go her way, she felt great confidence that she was finally playing with the big boys. When Rust came her way, she felt excited for the visual challenge that a Western would bring. She enjoyed meeting the director, Joel, and believed in his vision for the film, so we went for it. Two days before she died, Helena called me. It was very late, but she wanted to say she just had dinner with Joel and Alec, and she was so happy to be working with them. She felt the film would be a great next step and was excited for what was to come in 2022. I agreed and said, sleep well, tomorrow's another big day. That was the last time I spoke to Helena. October 21st was a fateful day that would change the lives of so many. Most of all, Andros, who at nine years old, would have to somehow comprehend the terrifying reality of losing his mother in this way. In the time that's passed, while the pain persists, the circumstances surrounding the disaster force upon us so many questions, with one in particular above all, how could this have happened? It's my opinion that, generally speaking, film producers are responsible to ensure the cast and crew members hired are experienced enough to handle their jobs. And when it comes to hiring the armorer on a Western, I believe safety is the only job. So when the producers hired someone with virtually no experience to not only be the armorer, but also the assistant prop master, two very challenging positions in their own right, they made a crucial decision to put sa the safety of their cast and crew on the back burner. As for Ms. Gutierrez-Reed, it's my opinion that she should not have held either position, much less both, but that once accepted, the responsibility should have been taken more seriously. Sadly, it wasn't, and we all know the result. Since that terrible day, I've spoken with hundreds of producers, film executives, and directors about how we can come together as an industry to make sets safer from gun violence. But the truth is that if Ms. Gutierrez-Reed and the producers of Rust simply followed the decades-old written guidelines for the film industry, specifically the use of firearms and ammunition, this tragedy would never have happened. In that sense, I hope we can all agree that this was not a simple accident. It was a chain of events that led to the killing of someone, and that chain would have been broken if the armor was doing the job she was hired to do. I often think about what Helena's future would have been, and it makes me smile. I can assure you it would have been bright, filled with spending time with Andros and watching him grow up. She would have been able to help her support her family in Ukraine, especially when they needed her most through the horror of war. She would have traveled the world shooting beautiful images and eventually becoming the director that would change hearts and minds with her poignant and purposeful storytelling. In the end, she'd likely finish her career as she started at the American Film Institute, getting back to the next generation of, of filmmakers. Sadly, we'll never know because Helena's life was taken away from us much too soon. So today we stand determined to seek justice for Helena, to hold accountable those responsible for her death, and to ensure that such a tragedy never occurs again. I want to thank Ms. Morrissey and her team for having me here today, and thank you, Your Honor, for your service in the case.